I hope y'all enjoyed the ASMR section before this. Trying to show y'all all my talents as a filmmaker. Hold on, I'll just get on this, uh... Oh shit, riding on the wrong side of the road. Thank you, buddy. Slow down a little bit, bud. I can, uh, still film in the rain. So y'all can see us getting soaking ass wet. And freezing, freezing our ass off. Right, this has been the weirdest experience. The people have been strange. Some guy walked out, parked right behind us. It's been way too long since we've been on a ride. Two months to be exact. We went to Kentucky two months ago to do the Kentucky Adventure Tour and the bikes have pretty much been sitting since. Well today, that's gonna change because we're heading up to uh, North Georgia to ride the Georgia Traverse, probably slash Smoky Mountain 500, some of it. Uh, this is probably a preview of the Chattahoochee VDRX because they probably use some of the same roads, but main goal is to have fun and just enjoy ourselves, get a weekend away because we've been working hard and uh, temperatures have been hot as hell, but, and that's what kept us off the bike and some personal issues. But like I said, today's the day we're going to fix all that, go rip on these bikes. But first, I got to meet Timmy at a special location. So let's jump on the bikes and let's get after it. There's Timmy waiting patiently at the good old Starbucks. We're going real adventure riding this weekend. Starting the day off at Starbucks like a true adventure rider. Oh yeah. We're going to drink us a double espresso macchiato with extra whipped cream and caramel sauce on it this morning. Hopefully they make a leaf out of it. Go all fancy. Get it on our, give it on my mustache and so I can savor the flavor of Starbucks all day during this adventure. So, we're gonna get to drinking our coffee. Not really, but we figured we made at Starbucks be a real adventure riders. And uh, when we get on the road, get after it. We'll catch back up with y'all when we get to the mountains. Cause nobody wants to see city riding, cause it's boring. Too much traffic. Yep. All right, let's get on the bikes. Let's get after it now. All right, after a few stops, uh, we finally made it to our first bit of gravel for the day. And uh, we're officially on the uh, Georgia Traverse. If you're not familiar with the Georgia Traverse, it runs from Burles Ford Road and well, I guess that's Wahala, across the top of North Georgia, all the way down to Alabama. I don't know how much we're gonna get to ride of it. We got we got two days worth. We're gonna do some camping and just uh, be out here on the Freedom Trail is what we're gonna call it. And this is probably some of the roads they're gonna use on the BDRX too once you get up into North Georgia. That new Chattahoochee BDRX. Got some new film equipment we're trying. Uh, got GoPro 12 as I always use with my, on my helmet. I moved the microphone so hopefully y'all can hear Timmy better now when he does talk. And uh, the fine folks at Insta360 sent a 360 camera X4. So hopefully we have some more Timmy cam. Getting some shots of Timmy. We'll track him a little bit and let him do some creek crossings on camera see how that all turns out but see what the day holds and uh we gonna hammer the shit out of it <laughs> oh jump right here oh. dust cloud right there wasn't it that's that's his spot <laughs> i had that i got stay out i ain't getting all that shit all over me today i can't stand to it This is the road I first rode a uh, 990 on. Where I rode it just for a short time, about two miles, but I knew I liked the bike. Got the Vista 1000 instead, but I've been liking this bike really a lot. Even though it's kind of a pain, a lot of the low fuel lights staying on now. Uh, even though I don't have low fuel, something else I got to replace, but hey, that's KTM problems, I guess. Y'all, it is dry and dusty up here. Everything's hard packed, loose gravel on top, bike sliding everywhere. I about ate it earlier, front tire washed out. So I had it weighted wrong and almost went down. Timmy's sliding all over the place. Just getting dusted out by there. <laughs> Just washed out right here, ain't it?
stop to take a break, but uh, this is the hill it was coming up. It's rocky, real loose, big baby head type rocks. Ruddy right there, as you can see. And it ends right there, but it's just, if you lose your momentum, it's, it's over with. I'm just taking a little break, eating some Vienna sausages and uh, drink a little water. We'll get back after it. Since I'm not used to the Insta360 yet and the uh, audio wouldn't connect to Bluetooth, so I'll give y'all another shot of this hill because I had to turn around anyway. That's how rough it is. Let's sort of just ram it. There we go. <laughs> This thing probably ain't nowhere near as deep as it usually is because there ain't no water in, in it. Nope, it ain't. No water back there. This is the very first road I ever rode an adventure bike on right here when I first got my Beastrom 650. I came up here on a little solo mission. I was scared to death because I was on a 500 plus pound bike. I ain't never rode that, nothing like that heavy off road. And it was a learning experience, but this is some of the first roads I ever got to ride. Now we're on the one of the best roads in North Georgia, in my opinion. Not as far as challenging to ride, but it's good scenery, and that's Tallulah River Road. If you ain't been on this road, you're missing out. If you're doing Smoky Mountain 500 or the Georgia first, you've probably been on this road because this is part of the route, and it's got the Tallulah River crossing over to Charlie's Creek. So y'all seen us ride it a lot, but. Can't ever speak highly enough about it. It's a good road. Y'all some Jimmy Cam right now. A little bit of hear his voice, I don't think, but you get some Jimmy Cam across this beautiful road, especially right here off the pan and show y'all this view right here. Good one. That's a good, good river right there. A lot of people fish on this road right here and in this river. Some days on the it's Friday right now, but if it was Saturday, packed out. See all the people down there now. Well, I'm swimming. Water level so low right now, though. And no rain in a while. It's usually flowing over all that. Here comes the guys hauling butt. Because they taking it straight back. Because these group of people doing 20 miles an hour. Turn probably 50 mile an hour and throwing dust everywhere. Oh shit! Right on the wrong side of the road. Thank you, buddy. Slow down a little bit, bud. There, this thing will have no water in it. Everybody usually goes over there where that side by side's parked. I just out there parked, chilling, doing them some fishing. We scaring all the fish away. <laughs> I ain't been on this road since I uh, come down here solo and dropped my bike right after I started back riding. I had a hard time picking it up on myself. Tweak my back and come home. It's redemption, I guess. We no dropping of the bike today. And this is Charlie's Creek Road, by the way. This is, uh, when you cross that river, that's Tallulah River. That's not Charlie's Creek. People call it Charlie's Creek, but that's actually the river. And now you own Charlie's Creek Road. That's, that's how it works. People's gonna say that I'm wrong about that, but that's not. It's Tallulah River, and you cross over to Charlie's Creek. This is where I dropped my bike when I went right across this creek and dropped it as soon as I kind of crossed it. And then, because I was paying attention up in there, bloop, where that guy's camping out right there. And dropped my bike. What is a trailer? Trailer, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I was going to camp out that night. Oh, that night. Golly. Toilet right here. Uh, a little rocky in here today. It rains in the spot. <laughs> oh, big rocks right here. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I'll just get on this uh Over there. 
Oh, yeah. There you go. You can go here if you want to, or you can take a break, whatever you want to do. The road's almost over. Deep? No, it shouldn't be deep right now. Start recording. No, it ain't deep at all right now because there ain't no water coming in there. No, it ain't bad at all. I might like it pour down right here. Yeah, it did. Charlie's Creek Road and got a little rougher than last time we rode it. Seems that way. Yeah, rocky. It's towards the end of the season now though, so. Yeah. Yeah, it rained up here pretty decent a little lot. Probably while we was down there at the bottom. <laughs> Uh, we survived Charlie's Creek with just a bent crash bar and a slightly tweaked back. Rough in there today. Been thundering all around us, but we ain't got into no rain yet. It's pretty dark over that way. Maybe we won't get completely soaked. We're going to keep on keeping on. There's the darkness, y'all. Cool little valley view, but there's the darkness. Cows down there. Hey, Callies. Bunch of cows. Well, we got caught in the rain. As you probably can see, it's hit my shield. Uh, we're dummies because we got rain jackets and we ain't putting them on. We, we just riding right into heavy rain. No raincoats when we got them in there. I don't know what we're doing. We're going to get chilly is what we're going to do. Good thing about this Insta360 on Bluetooth, though, is I can uh, still film in the rain. So y'all can see us getting soaking ass wet and freezing, freezing our ass off. Uh, we pulled over because... Uh, we're going to put like rain jackets on because we're, we're idiots. It's getting soaking wet. We're going to be cold. I'm already wet. Yeah, I mean, I ain't, I ain't soaked yet, so we're going to put our at least rain jacket on. I might not put my rain pants on. But we'll uh, <laughs> keep on keeping on here in a second. The rain's about gone. We uh, actually sat up under that tree for a little while because it was thunder and lightning and everything else. And Call us what you will. When it's like that, riding a motorcycle ain't a good idea. So we stop, chill for a minute, and uh, we're back out on it now. We're going to head down here to hell in Georgia. Cool view right there. And uh, try to find a Dollar General, I guess, or somewhere to buy some stuff we're going to cook tonight. And uh, start going on the search for somewhere to camp. I don't know what the hell I did on turn somewhere, but. We were supposed to be going towards Hell in Georgia, and somehow we have backtracked all the way down to Clayton, Georgia. Um, so we just made a big, huge circle. Um, so now I don't know uh, what will happen for the Georgia Traverse. We went totally the wrong way, but we'll figure something out. We're just riding anyway, so um, who knows? We'll figure it out. Well, like I told y'all, I missed the turn. We were supposed to be heading towards Helen on the Georgia Traverse. One of the roads was closed, and I couldn't get there. So now I'm eating ice cream. Sitting at a family dollar where we bought some food. And we're going to try to find somewhere else to camp. So the Georgia Traverse plan has now got altered to uh, the whatever we want to plan. But we're going to find somewhere to camp. And the adventure will continue. Have, have y'all ever watched the show Stranger Things on Netflix? It's like when they go into a different dimension and they got the monsters. Well, when we pulled into this strip mall right here to go to this family dollar, we went into a whole other dimension of the world, I'm telling you. Like, this has been the weirdest experience. The people have been strange. Some guy walked out, parked right behind us. He walked out and he said, where'd I park at? And I said, you parked right behind us. And he was like this in a day. He's like, Good thing he wasn't driving his buddy was, but I don't know if his buddy was in much more better condition, but God dang, this is crazy. But we're gonna we're gonna head back towards uh Wahala and uh find a camp spot and then tomorrow we'll probably end up riding the scar or something. This whole plan got changed because I hadn't been up here in three years, so made it back to gravel. Yeah. Ain't rain to drop here. No, I was like I trying to find it to get over my side because I got my shit up. Dust is getting all in my eyes. We get side by side by this. 
I might get me and Timmy both in a shot at the same time. We're gonna we pull we we play him with the 360 camera, see if it's gonna get us both in the shot. This is a fun road to ride right here, but I'm gonna keep this road secret because there's two or three good campsites down here. <laughs> if you're from this area, uh, Oconee County, Anderson, you might be on familiar with this, but I'll you know, keep this a secret because the good campsites don't want to get overpopulated and people start throwing trash everywhere. Which they probably already trashed all over the place, but hope not. This is like a backup campsite. Well, it's actually a good campsite right on the river. We're hoping it's open. It's late in the day now. I said this day got all switched around because I missed the turn, but it's okay. We'll make it happen any way we can. As long as we're getting to ride and camp, I ain't sitting on the couch. It's the best part about adventure. You ain't really got to have no plan. You just do it. Whatever happens, happens. Something, something always happens. Yeah, something always happens. Never goes to plan. Try to walk and talk to y'all at the same time without busting my butt. It's all slippery down here because it rained, but here's our campsite. That's why you put solar lights there for us now. If you're uh, a long time follower of the channel, we camped here a while back. Actually, this is the very last spot we camped at before I got hurt the very last time we camped like a month or two before I actually crashed and broke my back so pretty good campsite we're gonna chill for just a minute set up camp and then uh see what else we get into and see what Timmy has in store to cook for us tonight it's pretty steamy hot I got a new mosquito repellent too we're gonna try out so it should help here's our humble campsite yes we're camping close together because it's about the only two flat spots in there it's pretty muddy everywhere else i want to show y'all something though i get to try out some new stuff this weekend this stuff was sent to me by flex tail this is the flex tail 5.0 pump but it's now called grumpy pump 5.0 how slick that thing is tap it twice look lights tap it again more light super bright that's cool look dub as a fan right now because it's hot as piss out here but this thing will pump your sleeping pad up plus if you put the nozzle on that side it'll suck the air out of it and then i got this thing too that we're going to try out because it's pretty mosquito-y down here they also sent me their mini uh mosquito repellent it's got little pads you put in there battery powered you hit the adjustment right there it gets hot as it heats up the pad they emit a scent i guess something that mosquitoes don't like and it also dubs is the camp light look at that that's cool and it's got a magnet on the bottom so you can stick it in the middle hook on top it's pretty neat not a sales pitch because i don't know if they work it or not but i'm excited about the grumpy pump 5.0 boy timmy said he liked it too said it looked clean it's all clear it looks futuristic we're gonna sit here and chill for a minute look at the view we got oh yeah oh yeah it's so uh, hot as uh it's about the temperature of hell right here it's right humid. now humid it's humid and buggy but hopefully the flex tail thing works but we will see here and chill timmy's gonna do some cleaning i'm gonna do some chilling rest my back and uh see what timmy's got in store to cook for us tonight that's what i want to know oh uh hey, timmy we bought this at family dollar so i already know what it is yeah uh, it's pretty pretty ghetto but probably gonna be delicious especially now so it. i hadn't ate it in a long time so yeah, let's stay tuned and find out what we're gonna eat tonight tonight's grumpy meal is gonna be idahoan four cheese mashed potatoes we got some chicken wings tgi fridays there's only uh looks like five of them in there so not very many chicken wings and then over here we got old family sized salisbury steaks and brown gravy that's uh that's as uh, redneck country uh upstate south carolina as you can get right there and i'll uh, cook them on the grumpy grill it comes in its own package gonna wrap it up in aluminum foil just heat it up because it's pre-cooked those are pre-cooked ghetto tonight it's gonna be good. ghetto but it's gonna be good and two <laughs> the first time i got to use this because i hadn't been camping any harley and when we was in kentucky never used the stove because we got lazy this is my uh, fire maple stove that i got a while back from fire maple they sent it to me to test and review and it was right like i got it a week before i got hurt so i hadn't got to use it yet it's like the uh what, jet bull or whatever so we get to try out some new stuff and uh two i want to say 
give a shout out to the guy we seen on the road today in Wahala. He uh, rolled down his window. He said, hammer the shit out of that subscribe button. And I just looked <laughs> over. And I was like, cool. He's like, enjoy the channel. I was like, thank you. Uh, right. That was random. Hadn't had that happen before. And then we was riding on Charlie's Creek. Some guys was coming down. I don't know if I got them on camera or not. Two Africa Twins. Yeah, two Africa Twins. Or Africa Twins and a GS. And he said, uh, he said, hey, you're the guy from YouTube. You used to have a V-Strum. I said, yeah. He said, I enjoy your channel. So, uh, you know, Maybe shout out to y'all if y'all uh, watching this video. Appreciate it. And do like the guy says, hammer the shit out of the subscribe button and the notification bell and follow along with us. We're going to heat up this Salisbury steak, cook these Idaho in potatoes, and y'all know we'll give you a taste test. But it's just been chilling a little bit, but stick around. Taste test coming up soon. There's the finished product. I hope y'all enjoyed the ASMR section before this. Trying to show y'all all my talents as a filmmaker. Got Idahoan four cheese potatoes, chicken wings, old redneck Salisbury steak, and Timmy brought these hoagie buns. You see how good and flattened out they are? Cause he dropped his bite like three times a day. So mm -hmm. it's all good. We'll taste test these potatoes. All right, but they're good. And uh, hopefully this stuff's warmed up enough, but this stuff looks like dog food, but don't be scared. It's, it's pretty good. I hadn't ate it, God, probably since I was a kid. I don't know. It's all right. I mean, I ain't going to say delicious, absolutely, but it's okay. I would show you eating these chicken wings, but they're super messy, and I don't want to touch my camera after I get done. So we're going to get to eating and uh, see what else the night brings for us. Mm, delicious. Thank you, Family Dollar. The weirdest Family Dollar we've ever been into in our lives. I was in a whole nother country. Oh my God. So weird. Well, our ghetto uh, camp meal tonight was pretty good. It's, uh, it was alright. I mean, it wasn't the greatest thing, but quick, easy. That's the way we like it sometimes, you know. All in all, today was pretty good, even though Timmy struggled a little bit and dropped his bike a few times and being his crash bar again uh good old gibby crash bars i guess they're made out of paper but uh all in all made it through okay uh got a little bit of the georgia diverse sort of a little bit of preview of the bdrx the chattahoochee bdrx that we're planning on trying to do hopefully the first weekend it comes out we'll see um but we're pretty much gonna be done for the night sit around and chill look at our good view right here of the river Got a fire we'll get. Timmy's still slowing down. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to chill and uh, get back after it tomorrow. So I guess there'll be a part two to this video. I said it started out as a Georgia Traverse Smoky Mountain 500 trip, but now it's turned into a whatever trip because of my uh, miscalculation of directions. <laughs> so we'll go on the scar. We'll find something to play around on tomorrow and uh, hopefully find a whole new place to camp that we've never been to before. That's, that's going to be the goal tomorrow. So. So, as always, appreciate y'all watching. If you hadn't already, hammer the shit out of that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new content comes out. And hey, we'll see y'all in the next one. So stay tuned for part two.